Uh, so, Ed, we got a, a Saul Cole uh, Super Glide Almighty here, and it's got a Bigsby on it. And I think a lot of people <laughs> may, may, ha may be somewhat confused about how to uh, actually change strings on a Bigsby equipped guitar. Could you, could you show us what you think we should do on that? Uh, a Bigsby here is going to require, for me, and maybe not for some supernatural being, but I have a pair of needle nose pliers on hand. Ah. And that's because nice. I pre-bend the string because they're kind of a pain to string. Uh, and I'll, let me just unplug that from my guitar amplifier. I was enjoying the sound of this fine guitar a few minutes ago. Yeah, it is great. And forgot to unplug it. So I'll just remove the string off the post like that, trying not to dent the guitar, straighten it out, and pull it underneath, trying not to scratch the finish. Okay. And I'm only going to do one string because for all six, it's the same. Once again, shoving the st string through, grabbing it with the needle nose pliers, pulling it up over, and here's the trick. The trick is to bend the string so that it goes around the bar. Because if you don't, it's very easy to fall off the bar. So I pre-bend the string, but I also get ready to cinch it up in the tuner. So I leave it long there, and then I put it through the tuner, and I'm getting it close to where I want it to be. So at this point, I'm going to take it and put a little bit of a kink in it, the reason I'm putting a little bit of a kink in it is so that it doesn't come out of the tuner on this end when I'm messing around with it on that end. Then I take it with the needle nose pliers and I try and sometimes don't quite succeed to get it on that little tiny peg. So now I got it on. So now I've got this thing on there and while I hold it on with my thumb, I pull it tight here so that it can't slip off and I pull it my already kinked string and at that point while still holding tension on it being very careful not to let go because the string will pop off it will I've got tension on it no matter what pull the string underneath it wrap it over and now I'm safe okay. and there's one other way that some people do this I don't I don't know if you had a magic magic trip uh, it's better than mine let me know but some people will try to put the thing on without bending it and I'll show you what they do. We'll just pretend that this is a brand new string by unbending it. Okay, so some people will take the thing as is and stick it underneath and try to get it over the post like this. And this is an okay method too. I still recommend that you have a pliers to grab that ball end and guide it so that it fits over the pin. And you can also use it to bend the string ever so slightly. Okay, I have it on. And here's where, once again, you have to keep tension on the string all the time so that it doesn't fall off the peg. And I'm working my way up towards the peg head, keeping tension on it. And from here on, it's pretty much normal stringing method. Awesome. And one last thing about your your Bigsby's or any tremolo guitars, it's important to lubricate any point of string contact. Not string anchor, not at the end, but string contact, and that's your saddles. And how I do that is to, I'm using this Radio Shack lubricant here, and you, you can use the lubricant of your choice, but put a little bit under each string. Like this. And then I lift the string out of the slot, get the lubricant underneath it, and put the string back in the slot. When these saddles start to wear, which all things eventually do, it causes string hang up. This helps to uh, prevent that. I do the same thing in the nut slot on any tremolo guitar, especially. I've taken the doing it on pretty much all electric guitars, especially those with a bone nut on them that don't have any lubricant, uh, bone or plastic nut, 
uh, it's important to lubricate the nut slot because the nuts wear from the strings traveling through them. Every time you tune up a guitar, bend a note, or especially when you use the tremolo. And the technique is the same. You pull the string out of the nut slot, get the lubricant on it, and put it back in. And just the tiniest amount of lubricant is needed. Okay, that's that. You, you showed us how uh, you thought we should string our Fender style guitars. It, mm -hmm. it, how, do you, how do you feel about three on the side headstocks as far as string changing? Well, the reason I showed you the um, Fender because it's the most finicky. Right. Um, and, and also because it's the guitar that has a tremolo on it. Right. You know, a common guitar that has a tremolo on it. And it has to, that has to be taken into account. So on this guitar, you have plenty of angle over the nut into the tuner so you don't need to put a whole lot of winds around the string post. Here's what you start with. I'm changing the stringing on this guitar because if it was me playing this guitar I want to show you how I have it look. I've uh, strung the string up pretty tight with not very much slack on it and I've bent the pulled the string underneath itself and over itself so that when I tighten the tuner the string Bend it back if it gives you any trouble. Locks over itself. And I end up with less winds around the post than on this string, which I didn't do anything to. And once again, less winds around the post gives you more tuning stability.